Today, I'm going to be showing you guys some color with natural hair extensions. I am 4B4C Natural for those who are new to my channel. And I'll insert a little clip here of my hair in its shrunken state. And also a clip here where it's blown out. And I recently did this prior to doing a crochet braid install. So if you haven't seen my crochet braid video, you want to check that out as well. That's also a great protective style. This protective style that I'm going to be showing you all today is in the form of a wig. Y'all know if you've been following me for a bit that I love, love, love wigs. For a long time, I have been wanting to color my hair. But what I've realized over the years is that color is very damaging. So what I've opted to do rather than go into a salon and getting them to lift my black color so that they can create highlights or whatever the color is that I desire, I decided to go the route of just getting a wig that's already pre-colored or coloring it myself. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all a new unit from Her Given Hair. And this is my favorite natural hair extension line because their hair looks so realistic. I've tried so many different companies in regards to straight, curly, natural hair extensions, and theirs to me is just unmatched. I haven't seen any other company whose hair looks better. So this is my go-to, and I'm going to be showing you all their new unit and it's called the Sunkiss Coily Unit. And when I saw the photo on the site, I was like, I gotta try that unit. Look at all that color. You walk into a room with all this color and eyes are gonna gravitate towards you. So if you're somebody who's been thinking about color, I wouldn't advise you to necessarily go and get your hair color treated right away, I'd say try it out on a wig or try it out on some extensions, maybe some clip-ins to see what it looks like, get a better sense of what color you like best. And then if you decide after that you want it more permanently, then go and get your hair colored. But try something like this first. Oh my, this is gonna be so cute. I'm really excited, but also nervous because I often find that the really bold colors <laughs> I'm like leery to try them out, but then when I try them, I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that looked great on me. But I saw so many different pictures online of individuals who are natural and their natural hair is colored like this or similar to this. And I was like, oh man, like these girls are lighter skin because I've just always felt like with blonder or lighter colors that you needed to have fairer skin in order to be able to rock it. But our dark skin girls are showing out with color now. This is what the unit looks like. And y'all, I'm gonna do a wash and go on it. Look at the texture. Like that is just absolutely beautiful. The highlights, the low lights, this really nice blonde color that they infused in the wig is just gorgeous. It's just a ball of sunshine. Sunkiss is such a good name for this unit. Let me take off my scarf so I can show y'all what it looks like just right out of the package. I wanna show you all the inside construction before I put it on my head. This is a lace closure construction, so you only have lace in this area. And there are two combs on the side. There's one comb in the middle, and there's also an adjustable strap here. So now we're gonna put it on. I'm nervous, but excited. Wow. <laughs> Now, it doesn't look like much right now, but I have a feeling. Once I do the wash and go and I define the curls and get my makeup and everything together, it's gonna look much better. So it really doesn't have a great deal of definition in the front, it's looking really frizzy, but we're gonna get that together. I'm gonna actually wash it, define the curls and do a wash and go. 
This is gonna be so pretty once we're finished. I got a feeling. Okay, so let's go wash the unit and get started with the process. All right, y'all, so first things first, we're gonna wash the hair and I'm gonna be using Pure Shea Cream Conditioner and this is by the Softy Natural brand. I just started using this product and I really, really like it a lot. I actually use it on my natural hair and it really helped to soften and just give me a really moisturized feel to my hair. And it also did the same thing with this natural hair wig. With color treated hair, it's very important that you apply very good moisturizing products and this is one of those. So I'm just raking my fingers through. I rinsed the hair first and then I applied the conditioner. After I proceeded to finger detangle, I'm not actually using my denim brush for this part of the process. This is the amount of shedding that I received, which is minimal. After thoroughly finger detangling, I'm just gonna rinse this product out and then I'm gonna show you all what the hair looks like after. It looks so shiny and luscious. This this color just radiates on camera. I just love this clip so much because it really gives you a true sense of the attention to detail when creating this unit. It's beautiful. Now before we move on to the wash and go process, I am going to cut off the lace in the front and it's not much to cut off because once again this is a closure. And then we're going to begin adding our products. Now I decided to put the unit on my head because I wanted to make sure that I could truly see how it was shaped, how to find the curls were, and how it was looking on my head while styling. This this is the best way to do it in my opinion. You can do it on a mannequin head, but I just felt more comfortable doing it on my head. So then it actually makes me feel like it's my own hair and I'm really making sure to get in and do what's necessary to get the look that I desire. When doing a style like a wash and go, it's best to work in sections. So I've clipped the hair out of the way that I'm not working on. After inserting the combs, I'm starting with a cream curl enhancer by Softy Naturals, the same brand as my conditioner was used from. And I'm applying a generous amount to that section. I like to use a heavy moisturizer on the hair first, and then I'm going to use a jelly to give it some hold. Now the jelly is by Cura Care, and I've never used this combination together. So I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not, but I had a feeling that it would and y'all it did so now i'm applying the jelly and i'm raking my fingers through in order to distribute the product after doing this i'm going to grab my denim brush and i'm going to begin to define the curls starting at the end and then working my way up I don't know why I always call this a denim brush. It's actually a detangling brush, and this one is by Felicia Leatherwood, but I do have a denim. I actually have a dupe and an actual denim brush, and I like the dupe better. I feel like it gives me even more defined curls. With this one, what I noticed is that when you brush it through in the front, it does okay, but when you brush it through in the back, that really gives you the definition. Going from the back and then brushing, let me tell you, it brought the curls to life. With my other detangling brush, it seems that I can go in either direction and it still works out great, but this one, the back is the better option. As you all can see, the hair looks so, so good. It looks really juicy, really moisturized, and the curls are very defined. What I also noticed while doing the wash and go is that I didn't actually have to apply more water. Often when we do wash and goes, we have to spray a great deal of water and then our products to get the definition, but I didn't have to do that. I just applied those two products that I showed you all previously and then used the detangling brush and my hair was good. And it dried really fast. I was so impressed with that. So I'm just repeating this process again, applying the cream curl enhancer and then following up with the jelly and then I'm going to use my demon brush. I'm going to let you all watch this process until we get to the next step. Oh, girl, I wish you would make up your mind. I can tell by the look in your eyes. You're not happy with the man you're standing by Yeah, I've been watching you and him And him and her with his wandering eyes He's not worth your time, so come to me I got what you need, just know I'll make you my own
across my path, yeah. I can give you that good love and that will last. So place the other mister in your bag. Y'all, these curls are on a million. Now it's time to create some volume and dry the hair. I'm using the Revlon Volume Booster Hair Dryer in order to do so. And I'm just placing the diffuser at the bottom of the curls and drawing the hair up. This is gonna give the hair some more shape and also the volume that I desire. Yeah, you know it's true that you're worth more than this hair turned out so much better than I expected. So, so much better. I love it. And I love that you have a bit of versatility in your styling options. You don't just have to wear it with the bangs. You can wear it off to the side or with a part down the middle and it's going to look great. I really hope that you all enjoyed this wash and go video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check the description box for the link to this unit. I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. I can't